Is it possible to fall in love twice? One local man did, and it wasn't something new that drew his attention. It was something he is very familiar with, but this time he saw his object of affection in a different light, and that made all the difference in the world. Ted Reel was 80 years old when he fell in love for the second time in his life. Fran, his wife of 58 years, isn't jealous. In fact, she's delighted. She's noticed a big change in her husband. He became a new person. And many, many people have said to me, he's smiling all the time now. You see, Ted decided more than 18 years ago that he was done stroking the ivory keys of a piano. He started to play by ear at four years old and eventually landed a scholarship at the Conservatory of Music in Oberlin. That's where he met a beautiful cellist. I needed to have my bicycle fixed, <laughs> which is really true. And um, he was very good at that. The two began to perform together and soon fell in love. Rio played concerts all over the nation and taught music at several universities. Then, in 1992, he retired, closing the lid on that chapter of his life, deciding he was done playing the piano for good. Fran also put up her cello. We haven't missed it at all. Many people do not understand that, but uh, it's a choice we made and we were very, very happy. That is until he met this 1948 Steinway Model M. The Reels found the piano for their retirement community on Sarasota Bay. They hoped a decent instrument might entice artists to play concerts at the community hall. But when Ted sat down to try it out, something happened. But it seemed to me as good or better than any piano that I'd ever played in my life. And it just felt amazing to me. He is drawn to this piano like a magnet because of the sound of the instrument. It's a very small piano. Um, it's not a big concert grand, but it fits this small hall very well. Since that day, Ted hasn't stopped practicing. He's played two concerts at Plymouth Harbor and is working on a third. More than 100 people come to hear him play, and for the first time, Ted's found freedom in music. When you're teaching in a university situation, you're constrained a little bit. You want to get things right because you have faculty observing you. You have your students watching you. And you don't want to make mistakes. You want to uh, practice what you try to preach. But here, I can just do anything I want. And I can be freer with interpretations. It's much more fun to experiment with everything that's going on with the music. Mia McCormick, SNN, Local News 6.